Hey, what's going on everybody? I got a very neat little side-by-side. -side. My roommate's protege just came in and I said in my earlier video about my VP2, I really want to do a side-by-side. -side. Um, so I'll give you a quick look. This is the protege from Pure Smoker and this thing is sweet. He's We've had it here for about, I'll say an hour or so. I know it's a little premature, but um, it's, it's sweet. I've been playing with this. Uh, it's just so clean. I mean, I they I've never really had anything from Pure Smoker. I mean, I bought some juice from them, but this this unit, this device, is amazing. Um, it's just so nice and the, the build quality. I mean, I can feel it. And I'm not gonna try to knock the VP2 because you guys have all heard me on the forums talk really good about it. But there's honestly a huge difference in build quality. I mean, I can just tell you that holding these two in my hand. So I'm gonna try to get a side by side of both of these. Both have 801s on them. Let's see if I can get these. So here's your side by side, um, the VP2 and the Protege. Um, you can just tell. I mean, his is obviously is newer, just out of the box, and mine I've had for like three weeks, so it's kind of been through hell and back with me. But you just feel it in your hand. I mean, this feels so solid. The Protege feels so solid. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm really taken back by it. I've never really had a piece of hardware like this in my hand that's been so well constructed. You know, in my six months of using PVs. I got used to the crap from China that falls apart and you know this is my first mod um, and I was really blown away by it but after playing with this guy for a while there's just like there's no comparison so this is a uh, this would definitely be the uh, here's your kind of a uh, length uh, it's kind of hard to get it in the shot get my fingers out of the way but you can obviously tell the Proje is a lot sleeker it's a little smaller with the 801 on here compared to the VP2 um, it's a little it's not as fat Here's the diameter. This would be the protege right here, VB2 here. So you can see there's definitely a difference in the diameter, and it uses the same battery, which is crazy. Um, his batteries are charging. They use the same battery, the 14500 uh, 3.7, protected for mine. I'm sh I think the ones from Pure Smoker are protected. I could be wrong. Somebody can correct me, but it fits in here. He's using a protected battery in here, and it works great. Um, both 3.7 so the performance is the same but I'm going to give you guys a little vapor demonstration so this is a standard 801 um, I'm going to use my atomizer on both because his is fairly new so I'll give you you know broken in give this one a shot VP2 vapor production so you can see that was a good cloud um, flavors there uh, it's not as warm as I like. We all know that I don't care for 801s that much, but he did get an 801 kit, so I think it's only fair we do it with 801s. Put on the 801, my 801. So this is the protege. So I would say vapor production is nearly identical. I can't really notice anything different vapor production wise, but I, what I will tell you I do notice is the button on this. The button on this is so nice. I mean, you can see it there. It's just re not recessed, but it's just it's perfectly flat. And there's just, you get a good like feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but when you push it, it just, it feels good. I mean, I don't get a loud audible click like with mine with the VP2, you hear it, you hear the click. Um, obviously the button size is completely different get that kind of in there kind of focus in um, you can definitely tell the difference in the button um, it's just it's just so different you know it's, it's kind of hard to explain uh, I guess the one drawback to the protege that I kind of care about is the lack of the lights I love the lights on the VB2 it's just it's cool and like I said you know in my previous video you just unscrew the battery you flip her around like this you put the positive side down towards the spring so the battery end cap, it still works, but you don't get the light. So it's kind of cool for stealth vaping. This is constantly in stealth mode, so that's cool too, but I sometimes like the lights. Um, let's see, the, uh, the uh, we all know the Protege uses the adapters. Um, you buy separately from Pure Smoker. This comes off. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to break his new device, but you interchange your adapters that way with the VP. Your adapters are these little guys that uh, Gesso gets. I don't know if he makes them or how he gets them, but... I get that in there. That's what the this is a 510 adapter from Vapor Life. Um, so with these, you come standard with the 801 and you just screw it on like this, and you put on whatever atomizer you want to use at the time, um, like my 510 right here, and they work well. 
Uh, so you don't have to buy anything super expensive. These are like 12 bucks from him. So, um, the only other difference I noticed, I'm going to attribute this being brand freaking new. The battery cap is kind of a pain in the ass to put on. Um, you unscrew it, it comes off fine, but getting it back on, you kind of got to fight it. And I don't know if that's because he's using a protected battery in there. That's a little different than the ones that you get from uh, Pure Smoker. But I'll show you the uh, both the battery caps here. If I can get them in on the shot. So... This is the Protégé, and that's the VP. Those are the battery caps. I'm just trying to get my hand out of the way. Sorry for the shaking. So, with the Protégé and cap, this battery, this spring, it, it's it's in there. You know, it, it's it's definitely in there, and there's not a ton of play. This is a fairly firm spring. With the Vapor Life, the VP2 spring, get my face out of there. Um, there's tons more play, and it does pop out. If I really wanted to, which I don't. Oh, there it goes. It pops out. So you can stretch it if it gets a little, you know, uh, if you're not getting the, the connection you think you are. I've done it a couple of times, pull it out to, you know, stretch it a little to make sure I'm getting optimal performance out of mine. When you do that with the VP2, it is a pain in the ass, like right now, to get the spring back in. So I screwed that one up. Uh, but that's my own fault. I probably shouldn't have pulled that apart. But it goes back in. Um, but with the VP2, when you put the battery in, and you take the end cap, it just, oh, that's gonna fight me. Oops. Okay, let's try this again. When you put the battery cap on, there we go. Simple, it goes right on, it doesn't fight you. I've noticed this, and I'm just gonna attribute to this being new, the spring having a lot of resistance and the threads not being broken in. You kind of got to push a little and get it kind of sealed out there. There we go. And it goes on. So that's what the uh, end cap looks like on the Protégé. There we go. Kind of get my face out of the seal. There. So overall, this is a sweet little unit. Pure Smoker has definitely outdone themselves on this. Um, my favorite thing about this is the size. For running the same batteries, this guy is just so much smaller than the VP. Um, so you get the little, the compact size. Now I'm assuming if he had a 510 on here, this thing would be great, just pocketable, tiny. Um, I love the button on it so far. I know I've read that there's been some issues with the buttons and uh, you know, we'll watch his and see what happens, but I don't think he should have an issue. Um, the button just, it works good. I like the way it feels. And yeah, I mean, he doesn't have any adapters, so I can't really try that, but everything on here, just it's built really well. You can definitely tell that Steve took his time in designing this and making sure he puts out quality devices. So this is definitely an A-plus and pure smoker, and I think I might have to get myself one of these if uh, the Prodigy doesn't come around, if version 2 of that never seems to come out. But uh, I'm really in love with this unit. I'm kind of kicking myself for not waiting. I Like I said, I ordered my VP um, about the same time he ordered this. I got mine in three days. It took him three weeks, but I can see the time, the weight was definitely worth it for this device. So other than that, I don't really have anything else to add. Uh, so I'm Ryan with the Protégé and the VP2. All right, everybody, take care.